Good luck, Desmond. These are troubled times. The already uneasy alliance between the Crown and its subjects frays. And behind them both the Templars plot, pulling strings and moving pieces. History dictates they seek order through control. But how will they affect it here? Who supports them? And what conspiracies have Come they already up. spun? Spare For a all moment. These things I must determine. Of course. For Have only by knowing my enemy can I hope to stop. What is it? A Xing Bao, or rope dart, if you prefer. One of the many plans given to us by Xiao Yun to. <sighs> Sorry. We'll have to work on this. Ganondogo. Yes, my friend. What brings you here? Is the village all right? For now. What do you mean? What has happened? Men came, claiming we had to leave. They said that the land was being sold and that the Confederacy had consented. We sent an envoy, but they would not listen. You must refuse! We cannot oppose the Sachem, but you're right as well. We cannot give up our home. Do you have a name? Do you know who is responsible? He is called William Johnson. Where is Johnson now? In Boston, making preparations for the sale. Sale? This is theft! Connor, take care. These men are powerful. What would you have me do? I made a promise to my people. If you insist upon this course of action, seek out Sam Adams in Boston. He'll be able to help. What have you done? When my people go to war, a hatchet is buried into a post to signify its start. When the threat is ended, the hatchet is removed. Uh, you could have used a tree. It has occurred to me that the times we live in will be looked upon by future generations with a certain degree of scrutiny, no matter the outcome. With that in mind, I think it valuable to record the goings-on around the homestead. A true log of how people lived during this time of transition. Something to help color the portrait. What do you think? When I find a moment, I will try. Very good. What do I owe this great honor, Captain? The letters you speak of, what are they? Oh, now you want to know. Captain Kidd's letters, boy. He hid a great treasure somewheres and sent letters to four of his crewmen along with a strange piece of leather. If you find the men, you'll find the scallywag. It's that easy, tis. May I see them? <laughs> you might be a captain, but you're not too bright, are you? I'll barter with them. You give me some trinkets I like, and I'll give you a letter. Building my own treasure cache, see? Trinkets? Like what? Where? 
Use your imagination, Captain. There's interest and swag all over the frontier. Are you all right? What do you think? How did this happen? Poachers in the woods. I asked them to leave. This was their answer. Come on. We need to get that arm looked at. What of the men who did this? They can wait. Your wound cannot. You'll be able to make it to the house. Yes. I think the ball took only flesh. And what is your name? Miriam. Do you live nearby? Ah, uh, I, I don't have a home per se. I took to the frontier when I was a young girl. I've made my life out here ever since. And living where the land makes it easiest. Not a common choice for a woman of the colonies. No, it's, it's not. But truth be told, it was this, the convent or the brothels. I prefer the open air. Kana! What are you doing? Those poachers need to be stopped. I saw the scabs from my hunting blind. Get to that and you shouldn't have any trouble finding them. Use the rope dart if you can. Get familiar with it. Thank you. 
William Johnson's opening up some of that mohawk land you purchased for free hunting soon. Might be we make a good hole up there. I hear tell lumbering will be allowed to boot. What does he want with the territory if not the game and timber? Don't know. Don't much care neither. Feet skulking around these woods. Something don't feel right. <laughs> Feeling a bit guilty on account of that woman you put a hole in? Nah, nah. She had it coming. What's she dressed like that for anyway? It's not natural. Shooting strangers in the forest, is that common hunting practice where you come from? No! I... Think... Bear me! Go! Tell the friends you have left what happened here. Thank you, Achilles. You are most welcome. Why did those men attack you? It's no secret this land is full with game. I spotted the trespassers en route to request permission to hunt here myself, and suggested they do the same. The bounty of the forest is not mine to give. It is your right to hunt on this land, but I would appreciate you trading your surplus with the others. Very well. I accept.
You must be Connor. We've been raring to finally meet you. My name's Catherine, and this is Diana. We're the wives of those two blockheads who cut trees. Nice to meet you. We've heard so much of you from the boys. Glad to finally put a face to the name. The pleasure is mine. We were just discussing how nice this bit of territory is, on a river with nobody upstream. I won't lie, Godfrey's letter had me a little worried, but now that we're here and settled, I must say I'm rather happy. They had us on this plot north of Champlain that was a tangle of rock and bramble. Ugh, horrible place. It's a real treat to be able to walk up the hill and take in the ocean. Your husbands must keep you busy. <laughs> Nothing we can't handle, Connor. The boys think they run the show, but the real bosses are right in front of you. I do not doubt it.
There we was, eight months in the Kentucky frontier, trapping and skinning elk. Well along my third bail when they came upon us. No less than a dozen Shawnee hunters had us surrounded at the point of musket and arrow. My bush partner froze up stiff. The fear chilled me the same, but I managed to muster what little Shawnee I was knowing. The leader spoke too quick, but I gathered we was poaching. Having crossed into their territory a month or so hence, their musket barrels stared us down, the heads of their arrows smiling sharp at our backs. I bumbled a proposition and busted Shawnee. Our full peace, my three bales, and my partner's two less a half, in exchange for us quitting the Shawnee bush on our own legs. Leader nods to his boys. They load up our take and start back into the trees. The honcho stays a spell longer, just staring. Staring right through us with his two black eyes. And then he was gone. We picked up, set back east the way we came. Months of profit lost, but our own hides intact. Never saw the Shawnee again, but I know they was following us. I could feel their eyes on our backs, clear to North Carolina.
It stands upright, as a man, but its whole body is covered in a thick pelt. Its gait is slow and lurching. I've seen it with my own two eyes. It's clever. Always at a distance, or with something between us, like it knows where I'm gonna be before I get there. Things go missing where it goes, that much is certain. All manner of trinket. It took a man's prize buck antlers clear off his cabin wall. It takes kills out of traps, too, wrenching him open with his big mitts. Somebody should find it and bring back its head for the whole world to see. Yama. Yama.
Radun Hagedu, Skanoruk Stiguyan Dares. The God that there was the Ziata Zaha, you snorted the Wagano. The Wagamoyan Haram, the Waka the West to Haja. Was a tardy got in a hot as Zax. So do you snore, you could the Rianda Ratne, next it Kayana Yeri Waka Tahitake. On I at the Gayeri needs a dear on you. Next yet than Gayeri Gaga. Is a cock on Wadu and does that the dirty what Serag was, sir. Good day, Kuhun Kara always nek on or that don't hagedum. Good day, Kuhun Kara always nek on or that don't hagedum. Good day, Kuhun Kara always nek on or that don't hagedum. Sanuni <laughs> No, no, oh, yes, go, where I do not get them. Some folks were fixing to settle on a plot not far from here. Seems a big black bear with a taste for human blood settled there first. Bring the beast down and some good people would be grateful. Thank <laughs> you. 
Hello. You're the chap that was down the hill, yes? Welcome. Care for a leg of venison? Maybe a hen? I have some lovely wine, if you like. A Bordeaux. No, thank you. Who are you, and what is this place? I'm just a man, and this is my home. Doesn't look like much from the outside, but that's sort of the point. Not much of a people person. The locals think you are a demon of some sort. Is that what they're saying now? Probably frustrated on account of my naughty little habit. I take things. I know it's wrong, I do, but I just can't help myself. Thing is, I like my privacy. If I gave you some coin, might you keep my home a secret? I'd be much obliged.
Ja, Mann.
Nama. I'd been out in the pucker brush for six weeks. Game was scarce in the area, and my belly needed filling, so I broke for the coast and some crab or lobster from the tide pools. That's when I saw it. A lighthouse said to have been abandoned years ago, but there it was, fires a burning. Then the sound happened. A moaning in the wind. My heart crept up my throat so high I could taste it. Just then, a ten-point buck startled, and I took after it. Got the buck, but never went back to that lighthouse. Spirits in there, I wager, and I'd challenge any man to set foot inside. Wind. I've heard it. My wife's heard it. It's there. No mistaking it. Spirits. You believe in...
I've never seen him myself, but I've heard the stories from here to Kentucky. A German mercenary, Hessians, what they call him, was fighting a battle when a cannonball took his head clean off. His whole battalion was routed, and they lost the encounter. But the lad didn't die. He's been wandering the bush on horseback around the battlefield ever since, searching for his head, chasing innocents when he sees them, taking their domes for his own. He wears a pumpkin for a head now, until he finds what he's looking for. Like I said, I haven't seen him, but I have seen the bodies he leaves lying about, headless and grotesque. God rest their souls. Ah! Uh. 